Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Mass Transit 8.3 just dropped a couple days ago. Already getting some good feedback on it. The biggest features were, you know, around the job consumers and recurring jobs, scheduled jobs, basically all the things that you might have used Quartz or Hangfire for. Now you can do entirely in mass transit using this common job consumer model. So that's some great stuff. But I wanted to talk about something a little more subtle that kind of snuck in and I think is super cool. So with RabbitMQ, Normally when we do a request response in uh, a RabbitMQ service and we uh, fire it up, uh, we, Mass Transit always creates kind of this bus endpoint. And this bus endpoint has kind of a fancy name. You know, it does its thing. Um, so for instance, I've got my little account request response service here. I do a request, I get a response. And if we go look at a RabbitMQ, now we have this queue called you know, my Mac Pro, sample API, bus, you know, it's this dynamically generated queue that expires and it's created for every bus. Now, the thing is RabbitMQ, every time you create a connection to the broker, it creates kind of a private queue called the reply to queue. And it's always available and none of this other setup is required. So it's always kind of been there, but I never really had an easy way to configure it. So what I did is, and let's see if we can actually zoom this up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's this new method when we're configuring mass transit called set rabbit reply to request client factory. And what that does is it replaces the request client factory, the default one, with one specifically designed for that reply to endpoint in RabbitMQ. So I'm gonna put that in place. I'm gonna go back to my little browser here and I'm gonna nuke this queue because we don't want it on here. You know, we want it to go away. The exchange looks like it's already gone. Um, and now we're gonna run this service again. So we're gonna go ahead and get go. We're gonna run it up. It's gonna start using a font that's so big I can barely read it. Uh, and we're gonna go back to RabbitMQ again. The account services is there because that's where our consumer is. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit this again. And lo and behold, it comes back with the same response. I can change the numbers. I'm not, you know, it's not cached. You know, it's returning what I'm asking for. It's just the, the dollar amount is fixed. But if I go back to RabbitMQ, boom, no bus endpoint. There was no need to start it because it's using that reply to request endpoint. So kind of a cool feature, eliminates some of those extra exchanges and queues that if you're scaling out a lot of instances or have a lot of services might cause some people to freak out. Um, it, it, you know, reply to has some weird nuances, but uh, if you encounter them, you know, you'll, you'll know pretty quickly. Um, but for the most part, it just kind of works. So it's just a separate endpoint that mass transit manages under the covers. You don't have to deal with it, but any replies are sent to that reply to address. I guess one of the interesting things about this is if you're doing interop with other services that support that reply to, they can reply directly to that reply to address and it'll come back to mass transit without to know without knowing anything about response address or any of that kind of you know mass transit header functionality that's built into the message envelope so kind of a new feature again just set rabbit mq reply to request client factory i do believe it's in the docs if we search for rabbit mq you know i like to think that i document some things uh maybe not in that section of rabbit mq let's see here Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, it's not in the requests. What do we got? We got to have more than one RabbitMQ place. Here we go. Re reply to request compliant. It's in the configuration. You can see set RabbitMQ reply to request client factory. And boom, it does just kind of the thing it does. So again, Mass Transit 8.3 is out. A lot of cool stuff. Check it out. A lot of documentation updates around sagas, some of the transport stuff. All the job consumer stuff is fully documented. Uh, I think I have my previous video kind of talks about that. Um, so yeah, check it out, enjoy, leave some comments if you like this, or just hit up on the Discord and let us know how you're doing with Mass Transit 8.3. We'll catch you next time.